Hi, my name is Arle. I'm a PhD student here at C Santa Barbara. And this is a video to advertise my paper called Graph Waveless by Sparse Cuts that I will present at this year KDD Conference in San Francisco. Here, we care about the setting where, besides having a graph, we also have values assigned to its nodes. These values can represent speeds in a road network or opinions in a social network. Also, think about the Internet of Things, where many entities, such as driverless cars or sensors, will be interconnected and will constantly produce large amounts of data. We see this node information as a real function that maps each vertex in the graph to a real value. The main question in this paper is, how can you represent these values in a both accurate and compact way? One way to achieve our goal is to exploit this property called smoothness that holds in many real datasets. Smoothness means that nodes that are nearby in a network are expected to have similar values, like friends sharing similar opinions or cars moving in nearby locations being at a similar speed. But how can you exploit this property? Well, let's take a look at this new framework called Signal Processing on Graphs. This is an approach to model information on nodes or edges of a graph. The goal is to generalize traditional signal processing, which applies to signals in Euclidean space like an image, to structured data such as graphs. Two important concepts in signal processing are a basis and a transform. A basis defines how we can represent a signal, like think about the Euclidean basis for representing vectors as linear combinations of unit x and y vectors perpendicular to each other. A transform is a projection of the signal from one basis to another. Like here, our transform is a simple rotation. More useful transforms will give us better ways to represent signals than the original basis. For instance, our wavelet transform allows us to represent signals using combinations of simple functions that can be shifted and scaled. This wavelet transform has the effect of first taking the average of the signal and then the difference between average at different scales producing a set of what we call wavelet coefficients. But look at what happens when the difference between these averages becomes smaller and smaller as we get to smaller scales. The wavelet coefficients will vanish. Now, can we apply the same idea to capture the smoothness in the graph? But what kind of basis would work well? In my talk, I will show you how to build effective graph wavelet bases using spectrograph theory. See you then.